Hi, I'm Tamir from Taddy Brothers, and in this video I will show you how to set up, use the menu, and change the settings on our 7-inch digital RV systems with two channels that includes an R, uh, the sound and a DVR, just in case you guys upgraded to that as well. Before we start putting everything together, I wanted to make a suggestion, and that is that you should bench test everything. It'll give you a better understanding of how the system works, and it'll make the installation cleaner and quicker. So before we turn it on, let me just show you what the parts are here. Here we have the U-bracket mount. I'm going to show you how to mount that at the end. That goes right here in the monitor. And we have the remote, the antenna, we have a camera, and we have the sun shield. I'm not going to use a sun shield for the demonstration, but I just wanted to point out you want to be careful with these uh, the teeth right here. You want to put them in the groove like this. In the little hole that you see here, you want to line them all up show it to you guys like that put it in and then just push it down when you hear the click you're there but be careful because it, it might you don't want it to break so just be very gentle with it when you do it most people don't even use a sun shield because this screen is very bright and it works well for daytime and nighttime viewing now let me show you how to pair it real quick real quick and then we'll go through all the features in the menu okay this is the camera right here what you're going to want to do is connect this to 12 volts. You're going to use this pigtail that you see here, this barrel connector, connect it to some kind of, of 12 volt power source. If you want it on only when you go in reverse, you connect it to a reverse light. If you want it on all the time, connect it to some, some type of constant power source. Also, keep in mind that if you're using 24 volts or 12 volts, either one of them will work. Let me plug one of these in right here. And I'm going to do the same thing with the monitor. Right, the pigtail goes with that one, or you can use a cigarette adapter. Right away, it's already paired. When you get it out of the box, most times it's already paired for you, but I'm going to show you how to pair it just in case. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to move to channel number two, because that's the one I want to pair it to. And I'm going to click on Menu, you see here like this, and Record, which is an Enter button, and the pairing process begins. You see a countdown here with the numbers. Then... I'm going to push on this button right there, like this, and then the pairing will stop after a couple of seconds. All right? Now you see no signal and it pairs. Sometimes it might even take you an extra couple of seconds that you'll see no signal, but that's because it's negotiating the settings. But as you can see, camera the camera I just set up is no longer on camera number one. It's now moved over to camera number two. Okay? Now, as for the settings themselves, Let's go through the uh, buttons on the screen. The M is for the menu. You push on that to enter the menu. And it also works as a back. So if you want to exit out of it, you click on that as well. The REC works as the record button. It's a shortcut to begin recording. And it also is the enter button. The SD button is the shortcut to watching what you already recorded if you want to play back a video. Then you have the power button, which we have right here. This plus, the plus and the minus are the volume control, but also use as the navigation buttons, you know, up, down, left, right. And then you have the cam, which lets you toggle between the camera views. So here we're seeing a split screen of camera one and camera two. This is just camera one, and now we're back to camera two right here. Okay, now um, as for the menu itself, if you enter the menu, here you have the pairing, which we showed you, but I'm going to show you now how to move it back to um, camera channel 1. So first you've got to move to channel 1, where you see right here. Now I'm going to enter menu again. I'm going to click on the pairing button where I'm going to see the countdown, and I'm going to push the little red button. Okay, you said no signal here. Give it a couple of seconds while it negotiates the settings. Sometimes it can take a little longer. And then in about 5 to 10 seconds, you should see an image. And there you go. Now we have the image right here. Let's go back into the menu, and we're going to move on to the pictures icon that we see right there. We're going to enter by pushing the REC, and here we have the brightness, we have the contrast, the hue, and the volume control. To enter and change one of these settings, you make it yellow, and then push the REC again. Once it's red, we can now uh, change the settings on the specific thing. Right here, like that. Okay? And then we just click enter again, and we exit it, we'll go back, and let's move on to the uh, flipping or rotating of the image. Click on REC again, now we're in this mode here. It shows you which 
type of rotation it is. Most people like it on mirror because that's how it is on your car. But if you could do flip them image upside down, right side up, it just depends also where you place the camera and what you want to do with it. But most people end up leaving it right here. This comes in handy if for whatever reason you're hanging your monitor upside down or if you're taking one of our rear cameras and putting it in the front. Now let's get out of there and we'll move on to the settings. Enter. And now here we have the clock, we have the language, the NTSC or PAL, leave that stuff alone. You have here the uh, auto dim, which is really nice. You can play with it and see if you like that. You also have a delay. I just leave it on one, but that delays for how much you want it to stay on after you're not going in reverse. So most people leave it on while they're driving. And then you have here the grid lines. So here you see it's yellow. I'm going to push REC to enter it. It turns to red. We're going to move to on to activate the grid lines. Back to the REC, let's exit here, and now you see we have the grid lines on the screen. Let me go deactivate the grid lines. We'll move real quick to system. We're going to enter it. We're going to go to the uh, P line where it says that. Enter that. Let's move it to off. The off is yellow. We push enter, and we're done. There are no more grid lines here. The last two uh, features of the menu is the play and the record. These affect the DVR. So to do that, first let me put a memory card in there. Um, by the way, if you see here on the screen, other than it's showing you what camera you're on or what channel you're on, you have here the reception of the camera, and then you have here uh, a dot. If you push that, that means there's no SD card, so the recording won't work. But we're going to go put that in right now. So first let me disconnect this. And we're we'll unscrew it like this. So the SD card is located right here. You look for these two screws. Open them up. Just be careful not to lose the screws. They're a little bit hard to come by. Okay, right here. Okay, I'm gonna open this up like this. And now I've exposed where the SD card goes. You're going to use any standard SD card. Just make sure that it's unlocked. You have a little tab here on a lot of the SD cards, and that'll keep you from recording if it's locked. You also won't be able to format it, which sometimes comes in handy. So we're going to put it in here like this. When you hear the click, you're in. Then let's close this up again real quick. Right like this. While, we, while I'm putting this in, remember that... Anything you see me doing on the screen can be done with the uh, included remote control. This comes in handy if you're going to mount your monitor a little farther away and you just want to get some access to things. So you could do all that with here. Just remember to remove this tab so that the battery gets activated. Okay, so now we put the SD card in. Now, if the last time we used it, it said record on it, then it will automatically start recording. Right, here it is. Look how fast that turned on. It might as well have been a wired connection right there. And here, now that I turned it on, you already see the SD card icon. But because the last time it was on, it wasn't on record mode, it didn't keep the recording setting. So to start recording, just push REC. You see here that that turns red like that. And now it's recording. Okay. So let me, let's show you what happens. Let's say you turn off your vehicle like that. And then you turn it back on like so. It automatically starts recording again. So it remembers the last setting that you had so you don't have to fumble around with it every time you're using it. Now let's get to the menu so I can show you guys a little more about how this works. Here we're going to go back into menu and we're going to go to the uh, record features right here. We'll push enter. And now we have rewrite. This allows you to keep recording in a loop so you never have to change your memory card. The loop length just depends on how big your memory card is. Um, the other option we have here is uh, right here, and we're going to go to formatting the SD card, which I want to show you guys how to do. You click record. Once it's read, you're in it. Change the setting with the minus to on. Click record again, enter. It's formatting. Now you're done. Okay, let's go back here, and you can see I'm going to use this shortcut to get into the playback mode, the SD button. There's nothing recorded. Okay, so we're going to give it a couple of seconds for it to start recording with the R right here. Okay, use my hand right there like that. Move the camera a little bit. Okay, like that. And let's uh, now do the playback like that. And we're going to click SD. One second here. And we're going to go down to the folder. We're going to click Enter. 
We're going to go to the video here. Now, you see here it says a, uh, uh, underscore one. That means that it recorded camera one. If it's underscore two, it show, it, that means that it recorded camera number two. So you can see which one it is. If you have two cameras connected, it will continuously record both. Now we're going to enter that video here with the playback. And now you're going to see the uh, recording here. There's my hand. We're going to shake the camera around a little bit. We have the time of the video right there and the name of the video. So you can, if you take it to your computer, you can see which video you want to download. And then that's it. If you want to play it again, just put the REC once that's the end of the video. And you're good to go. Okay. Now let's get out of here. Um, a few accessories that you want to look at is that the system comes with a cigarette adapter right here. That's the barrel connector that plugs into the monitor. If you uh, got this um, magnetic-based antenna extender, this is also compatible with this just in case you added that accessory. You have it here. It plugs into to the uh, socket right there. And we've been doing this whole video and we never even used the antenna on the monitor just to show you how good the reception is. But look, right here, screw that in, fold it over, and you're done. There's really not much more to that. As for the mounts themselves, if you have one of our, um, if you got the U-bracket mount, that goes right here like this. Let me show you that one. Now, the reason I waited to put the U-bracket mount is because when the mount is on, it makes it a little harder to remove the SD card. And I wanted you guys to see that it's easy to do. Um, so you might want to take that into consideration when you're putting this together. Give me one second here. This goes right there like that. Hold on. Just going to line it up. this once that's in line it up with the second one like that and now you're done you can adjust the the monitor however you like what a lot of people like to do is also flip this upside down so they can mount it like this from their ceiling it gives you more of the perspective of a regular rear view mirror if you don't want to use a u-bracket you can always upgrade and get one of our butterfly mounts or our suction cups would plug into this groove right here. Or even our suction cup, you could put it in here. So it gives you a lot of uh, customizability and different ways of mounting the system. If you need any more tech support or if you have any more questions, don't hesitate to call us at 866-966-5550. From all of us here at Taddy Brothers, thanks for watching and have a great day.